Hi there, welcome back to Find Inspiration. Today I created a tutorial for you, Yellow Submarine from The Beatles. And I really enjoyed creating this tutorial because The Beatles were really one of my favorite music groups. I chose for this song not because it's my absolute favorite, but it is really one of the easiest songs. And it is really playable for people that also just started learning the violin. Right now, let's go to the song. I will first show you the fingering of the song and in the end of the videos, I will also, as always, give tips for beginning violinists, how to practice this song and how to go about learning this song. So right now, as always, I will give you some practice suggestions with this song. So the first suggestion is that you keep your second finger low on the A string. And that means that the second finger is just next to the first finger, as opposed to a high second finger, which would be next to the third finger. So as you see, the second finger is low and we will start. And sometimes you will notice with this song, you will have to move some, some really short notes really quickly. And what I mean with that is that if you are over here, and right now you have to play T, D, so. But if you wouldn't move the bow quickly enough, like, then you won't have enough space on the bow anymore to play the three as you see. So sometimes you have to move the bow really quickly uh, back really quickly. So and do you see that I make this kind of jump? So I play this, this really quick note and then I'm flying a little bit through the air with my bow and then I play the three. So I will play it again. And as you see, you can try to do this too, to play this note like really quickly and then lightly let your bow fly. And this is quite challenging, so don't worry if this will happen or something like that, because that is completely normal. But just try to, try to do it. You can also, if that doesn't work out for you, you can try to make the three shorter. So. And as you see, I used much less bow for now. I have this whole part of my bow. Like, I don't think you can see this part of the bow, but you, I'm like in the middle of the bow over now. And then I will have more space. Also, over here, if we are this part, maybe something like this will happen. Oh, the... It will be a really tricky, this part, if you just started playing the violin. And this is because we are string changing and we are playing the third finger on a new string. So we have to figure out where the finger is and we are changing strings at the same time. And the third finger is also kind of tricky. So a tip to do this is to really take it slowly. And first do string change. And as you remember from my beginner's course, hopefully, if you did it, you can string change just by moving the bow a really small little bit. So don't string change like or something like that. Don't, don't make big movements and also don't take the bow off the string when you're changing string. So just this really, really small movement that comes from your arm. 
You can't see my arm on this video, but just imagine me making a super small movement with my arm. And as you see, the string is changing. Change strings, then put a third finger on the, on the D string by placing one, two, three, and then play the three. And this might mean that you are practicing really slowly, like this. String change, one, two, three. And this would actually be quite fast already, so if you manage this beat, you are doing really great. And if you didn't, don't worry, it is like completely normal to not manage this speed at the beginning. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. And if you want to get to know me better and dive even deeper into learning the violin with me, you can also subscribe on my website violinspiration.com as a member. And with my member I share my personal violin stories, motivational emails, practice tips and so much more. So if you would enjoy that, please subscribe as a member. And otherwise I really hope to see you back on my channel anyway. For my next tutorial, each week I upload new tutorials, so I hope to see you there again. And I wish you a very nice day, and I wish you all the best with learning the violin.